This is Lydia, your financial bestie. In this video, we're going to talk about self-sabotaging your finances, spiraling out of control, digging a deeper and deeper hole. Follow the steps that I'm going to give you to how to get out of this. It's a new year, so we're going to start off new. First thing, getting money advanced. Paying your bills late, racking up debt, going to the mall. Christmas was just over and you ran out and you spent all that money. Next year, once you get out of debt, you can get a separate account, whatever you want to say, you'll have the money and then you don't have to run and use your credit card. Lack of commitment, not saving money, not being committed to yourself, not saying, you know what, I'm going to put this money away for a rainy day, keeping up with the Joneses. If you haven't heard of that phrase, you see somebody with a purpose, a Chanel bag, and that bag probably costs thousands of dollars, right? No, you can't afford it. You said, oh, I'm going to go and get going debt. But this person that has that Chanel bag, she probably could afford it. Trying to keep up with them, but you don't know their finances. Not budgeting. Another way of self-sabotaging yourself. How you're supposed to have money saved up for emergency. We all know that we need to have money saved up. What happened after COVID? Crazy. Things have not been the same. I know that I'm experiencing it, and I'm quite sure you're experiencing it. You need to stay in your range. You have to start being committed to your finances. Treat your money right. And as long as you treat your money right, that means you're committed to it. You put it in your wallet crazy. That's not loving your money. I learned years ago, too many in sequence. One, five, 10, 20, if you have it all scattered, then that's a form of scatterbraining and, and you're not going to keep things on track. So, how to stop sabotage. Start here and then everything else will flow. Do the 24-hour reset. Mm -hmm. Do I really need that skin? Your option. Be how to carry cash. Doing auto pay. Making sure that your main bills get paid. Your mortgage, your car note, your insurance. But in order to do auto pay, you have to have your finances in order to make sure that you have the money in there. For six months, a year is great, but six months is good. Doing a financial app, creating a calendar. And you can write on the calendar when your bills are due. You either get a calendar where you can write it or either you can do the calendar on your phone. Put an alert on your phone. Another good idea. With maybe three days prior to the day that your bill is due. Oh my God, this is an excellent one because it's a new year and everybody like doing vision board. So get you a vision board, a financial vision board. Give yourself a vision on where you want to be. Went on a, oh, I forgot the fucking app. What's the fucking app? On Canva. You could put anything on there, any cars on there that I want. You could put whatever on there. You could just create it any kind of way you want. Changing your mindset, saying, okay, I'm ready to do this. This is a new year. That go hands in hand with the vision board. Some of the times when I did crazy stuff is when... I had a heartbreak, it lost the family, a breakup, then I would run out. That's it. I hope it helped you. And um, this is Lydia, your financial bestie. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'll see you soon. Okay, cut the video off.